Hey everyone, this is Joe with G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering, and welcome to this first part on how I paint this MTH Rail King box car for this project for MTH. Since they're closing their doors in 2021, MTH has always been a favorite of mine in O Scale when I collected O Scale, and I found this really, really nice Santa Fe box car off of eBay, and it's a Rail King, and it's the original Rail King box, which I really like. And so we're going to completely disassemble this box car and repaint it as if Lionel has taken this box car from MTH and repatched it for themselves since Lionel is now one of the leading O-scale um, companies out there and um, I really love MTH but you know this is gonna I, I'm really heartbroken that they're leaving but um, th I thought this is gonna be a really really cool project and so we disassembled this box car and we taken some Krylon white primer and we're going to um, prime this box car up here. And um, <laughs> we got some snow effects. Uh, I like the rooftop, it looks like snow, so that's why I had some snow effects here. But um, usually you can strip off all the colors. I just went ahead and just spray painted the entire box car. You always want to give your box car um, or a model a primer and have a clean slate for the, for the next set of paint. In here, I am using the Anita's acrylics and this is the brown and black that I uh, famously use uh, for all my trucks and some grime work that I do. Um, you can find a lot of a lot of these products at any hobby store, Hobby Lobby, um, you know, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, Walmart, uh, you know, Home Depot. But you know, um, so I, I try to pick all the simple um, stuff that you can find at any uh, retail store. And so what we're doing here is we're weathering these. Uh, trucks and with these trucks here we're going to use that kind of color and um, I've taken one of those trucks I'm going to paint them for a recoat replicate a brand new truck that's going to add to the box car. And since this is an older box car and older model, I think it really looks cool why not to say hey we can you know, so use some new on it. You know? And um, here is some yellow ochre and we're taking some rust. Uh, some rust leather and powders and a little brown paint mix and pour them in to have some nice rusty looking couplers. I'm taking a little bit of that light uh, rust and I'm putting them on the um, trucks themselves. Well, one of the trucks anyways. Uh, one of the trucks is going to look a little rusty. And this is actually the first project I've been working on with my new remodeling of our studio. And uh, I really like it a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna go Google here and I'm looking for a logo and I decided to pick the original Central New Jersey steam engine logo that they had since the very beginning. And if you see my recent videos, I have uh, my O-Scale collection, what's left of it. And those are some sentimental pieces. And a lot of those boxes still have this particular logo. And I made some backups, even though I need two, one each side of the box car. I made, um, I copied four of them on WordPerfect and, and uh, decided to print them out right from the computer. This is the same way how I created the Southland um, logo for that locomotive from the movie End of the Line. It's the same, the same way and you don't have to have fancy decals if you can't afford them or if you can't find them if you can somehow print them off the computer go for it you know and this is a printer and then a printer prints out the paper <laughs> so, so we print that out and oh we're back to uh speeding up the process of the drying for uh the box car and i did a few coats and i then i sprayed over some clear a clear coat so the seal up the paint and here we're speeding up the film because we're going to be um, covering that for the rooftop to spray the rooftop and that uh, this going through Google again I decided to look at a few um, box cars from NTH and I was going to do all brown and that's pretty boring you know and I decided that it would be really cool to represent the colors of NTH and that's purple and yellow. And so I was looking for something similar to the purple and I really couldn't find a spray paint and with shipping nowadays and just the way it works there, I decided to create my own purple paint. And first I gave just a dark color of this brown. This is the camouflage brown on top of the rooftop. And, uh, and then I decided to take some red and some blue paints that my partner 
got me for Christmas and mix the two colors to create the top of this rooftop. And also decided to do the doors as well as the sides of the locom of the locomotive of the boxcar. You know, it would actually be really cool to do a locomotive um, maybe one day. I have to say probably like five, six coats. This entire boxcar was hand painted. I mean, everything was hand painted besides the um, primer. Besides the primer colors and the top of the rooftop, everything was hand painted. And taking some of the Q-tips and some rubbing alcohol, and we're going to get rid of the excess paint that maybe has spilled a little bit over when I was working on the paint. And we're gonna speed the film here. Here's that yellow. This is a simple Walmart, it's 50 cents paint that I that I found, and I really love the color. I think it's a bright, beautiful yellow. And so we're representing the colors of the MTH company. And taking some of that Q-tips and getting rid of some of the excess yellow. And now here is the uh, logo from, you know, I cut it out with a little X-Acto knife and used some Gorilla Glue and just plopped it right on there and took some glue around the edges, make sure it's nice and flat like you do with a decal, make sure it looks realistic, you know? <laughs> and there's that glue and then we're plopping that logo on there. And um, so I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next part of this um, of this project where we're going to be weathering and patching for the Lionel company and we do some really nice weathering the, for the beginning to the end of this video as you can tell there I hope everybody enjoys um, this video have a great week this is Joe G with Touch the Brush Model Weathering happy railroading Touch of the Brush Model Weathering welcomes you to follow us on all social media platforms we post almost daily showing you our project updates, upcoming clinics, and videos. If you would like a project completed by us, you can contact us here at totbmodelweathering at yahoo.com.